Okay, so this is going to be a bit of an unusual video. We are going to uh, do the weekly challenge. Now, the weekly challenge actually has a pretty good reward this week. Uh, I would never dream to buy any of the loot boxes. However, since they have decided that they can provide the loot boxes as rewards to the challenge, well, that is a different point entirely. So, the first mission objective is to, in extreme difficulty, deploy to Tabacal Charlie, then complete the mission Kilesia Coca Farm by getting kills from at least 200 meters away. So that is going to be the tricky part. We need to replay a mission in this area, Kilesia Coca Farm, and we are going to restart it here. Madre Coca's enforcers arrive every night to collect the coca leaf harvest at a local farm. I want you to set an ambush for these assholes and send a message to Madre Coca that the rules of the game just changed. Speaking of the rules of the game, I have a thing here that might actually help us with this thing. So we're gonna take this helicopter and start our approach to the area at hand. Alright, good to go. We're gonna make sure we do not crash this thing. Instead, we are going to proceed to the target at low altitude. Try not to be detected by the Unidad or Santa Blanca patrols. And we have one enemy target right our about two o'clock. A Unidad bird. We want to avoid it as much as possible. I can, of course, shoot it down, but I don't want to do that, really. It would be mean exposing us to enemy counterfire. So I'm gonna make sure to be a bit... Stay behind it and don't reveal ourselves. So there's the target, lots of open spaces, and not that much in terms of cover for the enemy. And that's good since we have a range quota. So first of all, we're gonna use our binoculars, see what we can find. We have at least Looks one like tango the right there. Looks like together a big shipment to hand over to the cartel. We've got an opportunity to take out Santa Blanca forces while they're around. Let's move. We're gonna try and use the drone as much as possible to tag enemy forces. I see a second target. I got a third target. I got a target carrying submachine guns. There's a lot of enemies in this region. Let's see if... Yeah, we got one. I got another. That's five. Right below there as well. Yeah, we got one by the house as well. Marking an enemy. <clears throat> They're heavily armed. Now, taking <coughs> all these guys out from this distance is, of course, not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be downright tricky. If it were to for one tiny thing, we have an attack helicopter. The attack helicopter have rockets, and most of the targets should be tagged at this point. So we're gonna take off, and what the hell are you doing down there, Holt? You're not supposed to be that close to the target. So we know pretty much where they are, so we're gonna engage the further targets first. Rockets now reloading, firing. We're about 500 meters away. Yes, it is the enemy! You will not take cover because it's not gonna matter, you fucks. I mean, some people might say that this violates the spirit of it all. I rather say that this is the smart way to do it. The smart way to take out an enemy is not subject yourself to any risks whatsoever. Ah, fuck, we managed to kill a rebel. That wasn't our intention. So, we're gonna fire more rockets this way, see if we can't 
get that guy. Yep, we got him. I think we got one suspect. Ah, oh, fuck, it was another rebel. I think that was the Santa Blanca we got a hit on. Yeah, confirmed, hit on target. The problem we have now is that we do not have any more reconnaissance data about where the rest of the enemies are. So we gonna need to put the helicopter down and see if we can't get more data thanks to a drone. Now, our position has not yet been compromised, we're just hunted, so hopefully the enemy will not know where we are right off the bat. What I am worried about is the possibility of the enemy hiding in the actual houses, because that is going to be tricky indeed. But I rather think it might be more possible that there are tangos in this area or yeah he's he's inside the building i gotta see if we can reach him with a sniper rifle but i don't actually yeah there we have him 400 meters and counting enemy reinforcements incoming He's too far into cover. Here they come. What's the play, boss? The play is that we will take off at once, uh, keep a fire on that house, and stay away from enemy reinforcements. That's the play. Rockets are away. Yeah, you didn't notice that the big fucking helicopter. Just, you know, hoovering around here. Oh crap, they know where we are. We need to disengage now. We need to get a distance from the enemy reinforcements. I don't know if the enemy reinforcements count towards all this, but we have to assume they do. Target is too far. I am unsure about my engagement distance. I need to try and stay outside the envelope. The rocket bugs I am encountering doesn't really help much. Okay, so they have reached our hill. They've reached helicopter hill. Take them out. Keep firing. Alright, so we cleansed Helicopter Hill, and we should now be trying to send down another drone to scout and see where exactly we have the last tango. Because I don't think there are many tangos left, but we need to find them, and that's where the tricky part comes in. So we're just hunted now again. I don't know if we got the guy in... I can hear him, but I can't see him. Two civilians. Another civilian. We're on the max range of the drone here, so we need to be careful. Just yeah, I got him. Hands. Let's see if we can't get a beat on the guy. Yeah, I have the guy. Oh, that was really anticlimactic. I forgot I hadn't actually loaded the rifle. He's moving. I am absolutely shit at hitting stuff with my rifle. Yeah, let's just do it this way instead. I mean, I am double the required engagement distance, but that doesn't help much. So, we're gonna disengage with our rifle. And re-engage with... We didn't get the gap. Fire again. Stand by airburst. 
Oh, come on! How many more of them can there be? Well, all we can do is send out more drones. God damn. Or rather not, because our drone just decided to fly into the helicopter's rotor blades. Crap. Let's see here. We do not have a visual on any targets close to that area. We could try and get a bead on something close to here. No, I do not have any visual on any tangos at this time. Not from this location at any rate. Let's move in a bit closer, see what we can locate close to the houses next to the road. This is the tricky part, because I can't go much closer than this. If I do, uh, I will be unable to defend myself, because if I engage under 200 meters, I'll lose. I don't want to lose. So, here goes the drone. I wouldn't be surprised if there's somewhere... Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. We might have to relocate entirely if they are next to... Ah, it looks like a civilian to me. That sounds like Santa Blanca chatter to me. Come on, where are they? Oh, there you are. Hello. Let's see if we can't get an angle on you. I don't have a range estimate of the guy. Uh, apparently, he was the guy who basically just went to the loo and decided that, hey, I better stay on the loo until the explosion stop. And then he got out of there and... We do not have a... We do not have a beat on the guy. But there is a way we can do this. I called the rebels for some indirect fire. We copy. Fire for effect. Out. The rebels are much more close than we are. We got him. However, we did not actually clear the entire farm yet. There are still tangos in the vicinity. So basically, this challenge forces me to do a bunch of stuff. What about... and pretty much... oh crap, is that... No, we don't have anyone there. Like I said, what I'm worried about is the buildings. I don't want there to be anyone in the actual building. Oh crap, we are getting out of range now. I like the shotgun mic, but it's... Not always that reliable. Right now... Ah, there you go. There we have him. I mean, I keep discovering new people every time I do this. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but I get the impression that I should have detected them far earlier. So we're gonna go back into the helicopter, see what we can do about this. And ready, aim, fire! Are you kidding me? Did... Yeah, it seems like there is a lot more tangos here for us to kill. And now the last ones are automatically tagged for us. That's pretty nice. There is a risk of us hitting civilians here. A very real risk, I might add. Okay, he's down. Talk at the last section and go. 500 meters engagement distance. The way I really would like to do this is by having a... Uh, yeah. The cartel won't get any coca from these guys anymore. Now we exfil and wait for the fallout. Good work in Tabak Health. Taking out men. Come on, you can help with the distraction. Go for it. <laughs> we 
We'll use the same tunnels and ex exfiltrate. And then we can place down some C4 close by. Demo is primed and in place. The lieutenant's escaping. Got the C4 primed. Demo is primed and in place. That got it. All we have to do now is lure the enemy up here. We'll stay behind here and see where we can put some fire down on those bastards. Sniper out there. Sniper's down. Good work. The drone is up. Let's get a drone out there and maybe even see if we can't use the drone to see when the enemy are coming for us. Yeah, I got targets. We rattled somebody's cage. We want to remind them that we're here. This thing does not do us any good at all if they decide to just ignore us in favor of the rebels in the town. At the same time, the rebels are our allies because they will keep the party going. However, this is going to be very tricky. We need to just lure them out and make sure they decide to come to us. In fact, I think we're going to relocate to the, that hill over there. And see if we can do it more effectively with a more clear line of fire. No. You guys all good? Damn, I love this job. Come on, get out. We poked the hornet's nest. All right, launch the drones. Here they come. Ready to see four. We got it. That's it for the fuckers. Damn, he's running fast. Nicely done, people. That was challenge two. Onwards to the next one. So the last solo challenge before this precious little spec ops crate is going to be ours is that we need to deploy to Bondiac Bravo and complete the mission full load. Now, as you can see, we're already at Montiac Bravo and... I asked Pat Katari to send us a vehicle. We're gonna have a vehicle and let's just see here. Missions, missions full load. That's us taking down the cartel of mortars. We've located the stocks of ammo and mortar shells being used for training in Montiac. Destroying the stocks will bring training in the province to a halt. I got it. I'll fly. You know the best way to destroy the enemy infrastructure, right? The absolute foolproof way to destroy a bunch of enemy infrastructure. Airstrikes. I'm dead serious about this. Airstrikes. We got one target dead ahead. Fire! Weapons crate destroyed. We need to stay a bit further away in order to avoid fire from the SAM sites. One crate down. The only rule that we are actually bound by on this mission is not dying. And that's the only one. We are not allowed to die. That's it. Now, the thing is, even if, even if a SAM site would hit uh, this bird, 
it's not necessarily a kill. Uh, the next part is gonna be tricky. The, the trickiest part is going to be to infiltrate uh, the cave. I mean, we could try lobbying grenades in there, but I'm not sure that's actually going to work. We need to find a Death Star kind of angle in order to get the rockets in there. And, of course, the fact that we have to do it from such a... <laughs> That was far too easy. I mean, that was just far too easy. I mean, it kind of feels like ch cheating. Because this bird is something I got out of the store. I mean, it's not a, it's not a helicopter you can get. By simply... Oh wait, you can actually get this bird by playing the game. If you don't have this bird... And are very lucky with the spec ops crate. You can get a bird like this. Uh, but I bought it. And that's why it feels a bit like cheating to be honest. So now that we got a nice brand new crate. Or at least should have one. Let's open it and see what we got for. We got the arena mask. Fuck that. I'm never gonna have that. We got the VIP sports car. There's no way I would... Who on earth would use this skin? I mean, why? It's red. I mean... Uh, never mind. It's worth it just for the sports car, I would say. Because the sports car is ridiculous. But it's, at least it belongs in the game, so to speak. So, I want to see what Pakitari says when... Oh, crap. I actually pressed the wrong button. I was gonna call in the sports car and try it out. But we actually managed to call in the Huntsman bike instead. So I suppose you have to wait until some other time to see the sports car. But thanks for me, and this has been great fun. Catch you later.